Hello everybody, my name is Milo and I'm here at the Fellowship of Acoustics and today we're having a look at the Game Changer Audio Light Pedal. So I've heard a lot of good things about this pedal on the internet, but this is the first time I've seen it in the flesh. I've never tried it out before, so uh, I thought it would be fun to try it out with you. I'm playing this custom shop uh, Fender Jazzmaster uh, through a Mesa Boogie California Tweet and this is my clean tone. Let's see what this pedal has to offer.
Thank you for joining me on this journey of exploration of this uh, this really spectacular reverb pedal. I found this pedal to be incredibly inspiring. This is unlike any other reverb pedal I've ever tried. It's also way out of my comfort zone, so maybe um, most of the time I'm used to having really simple reverb pedals, just set it and forget it. And this has so many options, but so many different flavors of the well, the really vintage spring reverb vibe. If you're looking for a fairly standard spring reverb, this can do it. So you spend most of your time with this spring reverb knob, but then if you want to get experimental, you can use the optical side of this. So that's why you see the light and that's why it's called the light pedal as well. Then you can start to get really freaky with your with your reverb sounds. I spend a lot of time on the, the sweep as well. I really like that. It's sort of a tremolo on your reverb sound. And then the drive knob is really something special as well. Just to have a, an opportunity to get a really dirty, overdriven reverb sound is just really exciting to me. I think Game Changer Audio, like their name suggests, they are really changing the game as far as reverb pedals go and also as far as overdrive pedals go with their plasma pedal. Really an interesting pedal, uh, really inspiring to play. If you have the chance, go and try it in our store. If you have any questions about it, you can go to our website and you can chat with us or send us an email and we'll answer that. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video.